Hi everyone, welcome to Jabateki. So in the last video, we explored what stream gatherers are, why they are powerful, and even we look at few built-in gatherers methods with example, right? If you have not checked that out yet, I highly recommend it watching it first. It will give you the right context for today's session. Now in this video, we are going one step further. We'll see how to leverage stream gatherers by creating our own intermediate operator just like filter, map and flat map. So if you have ever wondered how does Java actually build these operators under the hood, stick around because by the end of this video, you will be able to build your own custom operator with gatherers. Okay, alright. So without any further delay, let's get started. So before we start writing our own custom operator, first let's look at the operator or intermediate methods we are using in our day to day life, map, filter, flat map, sorted, distant, limit and there are many more we are using in our day to day life, right? Those operators are categorized in two part. So few intermediate operator comes under stateless operator like map filter flat map because what happened when you are using map filter or flat map like other stateless operator they process each element independently they no need to remember the state of previous element similarly when you are using the stateful operator like sorted distant limit they require knowledge of other element in the stream they needs to remember the previous element for example if you see this stateless intermediate operator example, I have list of string, apple, banana and cherry. Then what I am doing here, I am just using map. Map what it does, it get each element and convert it to uppercase. Similarly, after that we have the filter who again check each element. If it starts with A, then it filter it out. So in this case, the map and filter operator, they no need to remember anything about the previous element in the stream whatever the element they got they just process it they no need to remember the previous element that is the reason these operator comes under stateless intermediate operator okay now if you look into another example stateful intermediate operator what we are doing here again we have list of string then we want to find the unique so for that reason we have used distant method. Now what this distant method does, how it will find the unique element. First, it needs to remember what was already seen. So once we know what all element available in the stream and once we store them, then he can figure out, okay, this is what the duplicate, I need to filter it out. Okay. Similarly, sorted. Now to sort group of object, what you need to do? You need to remember the whole stream in memory to produce the sorted result. So these distinct sorted, these kind of methods comes under stateful intermediate operator. Okay. So the reason I am telling this story about stateful and stateless because stream gatherers offers you both the option. Using stream gatherers, you can create stateless intermediate operator as well as stateful intermediate operator but in this lecture we will focus on how to create stateless intermediate operator using stream gatherers now before you understand how to create our own operator using gatherers first you need to understand few components of gatherer so gatherer has four components initializer integrator combiner and finisher okay so what initializer does it create the initial state like list or map where you can keep your initial state of operation then you have the integrator who process each element and update the state to downstream okay then you have combiner if you have multiple gatherer operators and you want to combine their results then you can go for combiner similarly finisher finisher is the last step 
who process the final state and emit the results so all these four components we are not using at one go rather we'll discuss each of them clearly when we'll start coding on them okay so if you are writing the stateless operator then you no need this initializer combiner and finisher you can go with integrator so in today's lecture we'll discuss about integrator how you can use this integrator component to create your own stream operator okay that that will be really very interesting if you understand how you can use it then you can create n number of your own operator as per your requirement so let's see it in action let me go to my intellij idea now let me create a java class custom stateless stream operator now what do you want to do we'll create a simple custom operator okay let's say i have the main method then what i have i have stream of element 1 2 3 4 5 i want to find out square of each element now in plain java it if you will write what you will do you will use the map then you will just multiply it then you can do for each now if you will run it you can see here square of each element so this map what we are doing here square each element this is what we are doing here using map now what i want instead of using map i want to create my own methods or i want to create my own operator using stream gatherers now the approach is very simple what you can do if you remember the components we have discussed we have something called integrator using that we can create stateless intermediate operator right you just need to play with this particular component now how you can do that let me tell you now to use the integrator component basically it is an interface i will show you now what you can do you can create another class but i will create the class here private static class name something like square integrator now you need to extend not extend this is interface right you need to implements from gatherer dot integrator see this what is this integrator is a component if you open this integrator this is an functional interface it has three argument a t and r a is nothing the type of state used by the integrator since this is stateless the type of state is void okay then you have t which is nothing your input type then r is nothing your result or output type okay you just need to remember this signature that's it you can define n number of custom operator now let's define the type here void then what is the input you are getting integer what is the output you will return integer okay now you need to override the integrate methods see the method name integrate now inside these methods you will write the logic to square the element now if you see the signature of these methods state is the first argument then element which is nothing the input based on this you can perform your operation then the third argument is downstream what you want to push to the downstream from these methods what you want to emit to your downstream now let's say this is the square integrator i have defined and instead of map i want to use this square integrator so let me add a just comment okay i am not writing the logic at this moment let me add the comment square integrator now what value you are going to emit from this integrator to the downstream who is the downstream for each that is the region what element you want to send to the downstream you can define here okay 
now very simple you have the element which is nothing the number 1 2 3 4 5 how you can evaluate the square you just need to do element into element so int result equal to element into element now this you want to push to whom your downstream which is nothing your for each so you can simply say downstream dot push your result that's it so let me add one sysout statement here that we are getting the input and we are just doing the element into element this is the result we are publishing to the downstream so you no need to define another variable let me just define here that's it now will it work how can i tell to the stream use this square integrator instead of map let me copy this instead of using map what i will tell to the stream use gatherer then gatherers of see the method gatherer of integrator supplier of sequential there are many methods no need to eat everything in one go we'll understand them one by one okay first let's understand how you can define the operator once you know the basic you can design your own way you can design n number of things now let me define the operator name new square integrator that's it now let me comment this we'll see whether it is giving the output or not okay will it give me output for each element let's see let's run it what we are getting here integrating one into one we got the output for only one element do you know why see request came to here it evaluate the result it emit to the downstream then what you are returning false after that stop processing it so you need to return true so that what this understand okay i need to continue the processing okay so this needs to be written true from the integrate methods once you publish event to the downstream so that next iteration will happen and it will emit the next event now let me run this are you getting the result 1 into 1 2 into 2 5 into 5 all the element we got the square now how we design the integrator or how we design our custom operator using gatherer by defining a class okay so you can define the class here but that's not recommended since this is just a demo i have defined a static class so why we are using gatherer that is the first question right to achieve the reusability so if i'll define it inside the class i cannot reuse this is private or this a class having the scope inside this particular class so you can define that outside if you want to use it in multiple place okay everyone can create the object of it and they can uh, use this particular logic so you can define this outside the class now if you don't want it to define as a class if you want to keep it specific to the class by defining a methods that also you can do that now how you can define that as a methods it's very simple i'll directly use the interface private static what i'll return i'll return the gatherer see the type generic t a and r input state and return type what is the input integer what is the state void what is the return type integer I'll define a method called square. Then at the end you need to use this integrate or integrator. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll just use return gather of this one. Simple thing, guys. Whatever you have defined here, instead of pass it here, I'm creating a methods who will return directly the interface. Okay. Now here, what you need to do. 
if you remember this what what this integrate integrator has this is a functional interface and this has this particular method so with these three argument so you can convert it to the lambda for that what you can do you can define state element and downstream okay then inside this you can write the logic you have the element you have the state everything you have then you can start writing logic here what is there okay missing return statement add it return it true so just remove this all good okay now here you can write the logic so i will simply copy this instead of return integrator see here what we did what we did we use the integrator directly but here we are using the in interface directly okay now this is we have defined the methods if you want to reuse make it public and wherever you want to use it just do that that is the basic java i don't want to repeat it and if you want to customize it better create in a separate class and reuse it like this okay now let me copy this we'll use the method you can simply define here square that's it this is your new stream operator okay now if you'll run this you got the output see the second output integrating this okay this is how you can create your own operator using stream gatherers now currently we have designed stateless intermediate operator we take the input we process it we don't have any initializer to keep the state we don't have combiner we don't have finisher okay this is what we have defined our stateless intermediate operator so we took a simple use case where you have the list of element we convert them to the each element to square using this custom operator now i'll give one assignment for you if you will practice this then you will conceptually having good understanding of what is this gatherer and how to use it by watching this syntax you might be getting difficulty to understand it but if you will do one or two example you will be familiar with this okay this is the simple assignment just try to do it and if you have any doubt add those doubts in a comment okay so in upcoming class or in upcoming videos we'll discuss more about other components that is initializer combiner and finisher okay so just give a try and let me know if you have any doubts